Hey everyone, I wanted to make a first video here on the 300 by 300 build of Simple Core. So I have assembled the frame. I've decided to go with 500 millimeter 2020 extrusions um, for the entire printer. So it's definitely a, quite a large printer. I actually think I'm going to probably get 330 300 by 330. That's the size of my uh, G10 build surface that I'm going to be trying out here. So um, I've just basically mounted the Z. All the parts came directly from my 200 build simple core. So there's nothing really that I'm going to be changing here as far as parts. I will have to make some longer uh, ledges here to hold the bed for each. That's essentially all that has to change on um, the printer when you scale it up. So um, my, my Z height is going to only be about 230. That's totally fine with me. If you did want a 300, more of a 300 uh, Z height, you could always increase the size of these vertical extrusions by 100 millimeters. And then you would just change the linear rails here for the Z, just add 100 millimeters to those. And then you would be fine. You'd have more Z height. So I don't really print anything that tall. I print mostly smaller mechanical parts. So this uh, definitely suits my printer uh, pretty well. I am uh, using corner brackets here just to make sure this, the frame is uh, really stiff. This is quite a bit larger. I do want to order some more corner brackets for the front and rear here, just so it's uh, very, very strong. I'm going to try to reuse my back uh, G10 panel that I cut there. I'm just going to basically make some longer mounts for it so that I can just put it on the back of the printer. That way I'm saving some money there. Um, 500 millimeters across the board here, so my MGN9s are 500 millimeters on each side, and then I'll have a 500 millimeter MGN12 for my X. Like I said, nothing else is changing. Uh, basically, I'm just swapping over all the parts over to the frame. I might redesign a few parts here and there. Uh, maybe just make sure these are nice and strong, beef them up a little bit if I need to. I'm just going to be bolting on my existing printed parts here. Again, I want to say thanks to everyone who subscribed. Um, I really want to say thank you to the Patreons. I will have my Patreon in the description below as well as my Discord server if anyone wants to join there. I should have another video here once I get all of the parts kind of assembled on and the motion system and all that kind of stuff. And um, I hope to show off a bit more videos of the printer printing. Um, we'll go through some different print speeds. I want to do a video on input shaper for this printer. That type of thing. So... Yeah, it's, uh, it's a very large printer now. I'm very excited to start building. Very curious to see if the G10 build plate works out well. If not, I'll just get a piece of glass, a 330 by 330 a piece of glass, and I'll just uh, use a normal PEI sheet. I am going to be switching Simple Core over to a Clicky Probe. So I will have mounts and all that kind of stuff for the Clicky Probe on the GitHub once I've designed that. Um, I just don't really like the Omron type probe uh, or sensors. I want to go to a mechanical uh, actual probe. So I am going to be uh, running this uh, with Clicky Probe once it starts printing. And I'll go over a video on that. Like I say, I'll provide the mount specifically for my printer. And then you can just grab the normal uh, Clicky Probe stuff. I'll also kind of make a video on what you need from Clicky Probe, that type of thing. So... Yeah, just a really quick video here, um, letting people kind of know the first stages here of the 300 by 300 build. I am starting to work on the bill of materials for this printer. I do want to do a nice clean bill of materials with e each section broken out, uh, bolts and things like that. Um, try to get that stuff. Uh, I want to clean up the 200 version as well, so I want to spend some time on that. So might not be in the description of this video, but in part two, there should be a little bit more on the bill of materials for this. Um, again, the printer should be around $700 Canadian. Uh, it's even cheaper uh, USD. So anyone who's looking to 3D print a nice, simple, do-it-yourself Core XY printer, then they don't want to spend a lot of money. 
this would be a great printer for them. If you have any questions, please comment below. And thanks again, everyone.